Hey guys, NS Productions 8104 here. As you guys can see, you can see my beautiful NTH-9 sitting on the main. So you're probably wondering, did you get your DCC system? Yes, I did. This, my friend, is my DCC system. The Easy Command Dynamis. Made by Bachmann and ESU of Germany. And I can go up to 20 functions thanks to this little uh, button here. So, coming out soon, I'll be doing a, re a, better, a revamp review of this beauty. My MTH-9, my first MTH locomotive. I'll be doing a redo on the review for that one. Because now I can show you more advanced features, thanks to my new system. Um... The best part about this is that it's literally a wireless handset. I could have it around my neck like I normally do. So, what? So that was basically what I wanted to talk about in this update video. Um, soon I'll be getting some gravel. I'm gonna be getting some nut. I'm gonna get rid of this track. I'm gonna go to flex track or atlas track for now. Um, I'm also gonna get some road bed. So I can put this whole track, so I can put, retire this old track system. Because this is old, and this is a permanent layout. And then this way I can also actually make, make the double main and the 22-inch uh, radius curves through the corners here. So these engines don't have to work so hard. I mean, I've been running them somewhat decently today. I gotta check something. I'm just making sure the sound's up on on both of them. Okay then. So let's get the system started. What I need to mention about the the easy command uh, the dynamics is that it has the option to go between 126 speed steps, 28 speed steps, and 14 speed steps. I've programmed all my engines that are on my layout at 126 because I do like the finer control. And once it loses connection, it also stops so that doesn't happen. So I'll just do this. This is at speed step one, guys. Look how smoothly these things run. One my sub chase fell off. My camera just fell off the bench. Lay out nuts. Okay. Now this train is very long, so we'll set up right here and we'll roll through it.
Those happen every now and then, but it's okay. Um, another thing I want to show you guys is that you guys can tell there's a second BNSF engine on the roster. And that was my first modern locomotive I've ever got. That came out of the Bachman Rail Chief train set. And what I did was I... The motor went completely dead. There's the motor. It's just done for. So what I did was I put it all back together. Except for the handrails because I'm planning on getting brass handrails for all my locomotives. That engine now is a dummy unit that runs with the other BNSF. So technically right now on my railroad... Until I get more engines, technically right now, I'm modeling BNSF. Because you got the two dash Santa Fe's there, and you got two BNSF's there. So, we at least have four BNSF locomotives. I do have uh, Norfolk Southern engines in the work, like this one. This used to be the Union Pacific SD 40-2, and I've been painting it up to a... The camera will focus here. There. I'm painting it up into No Folk Southern 3456. I've got the white nose. i got the white stripe along the side. I just need to get these, uh, the end stripes. I literally just printed these off and take them on for now until I get proper decals. They don't look too bad, honestly. Yeah, I'm missing a side, uh, side frame fell off, but it's okay. But, it looks nice. It's almost completed. I just gotta get no stripes. I just gotta get stripes for the ends. And I am gonna plan on powering this thing. I gotta get a new uh, motor and new... Ge I gotta get new gears and drive wheels and all that. So it's not... It's gonna be a little pricey, but not that expensive. And then this is our third No Folk Southern locomotive for the roster. Here's our second No Folk Southern locomotive. Is I'm also going to buy a $20 decoder for this and install it. And this baby. And look at that. We got three engines. Three engines of Norfolk Southern. Um, another thing I did to one of my other engines is, uh, well, AC-12 cab forward. I painted up here and here according to prototype photos. Some of them were black, some of them were silver. And on this engine, they were silver. So, I painted those up like they're supposed to be. It looks sharp. Very sharp with this paint scheme. Um, I've also been doing some weathering. I got some weathering paint. I got... Picked this up yesterday. The reason why it was $6 because it only came with an engine flat black, aged concrete, and grimy, grimy black flat. It didn't come with the first three. Which is okay because I can get more rust colors. But anyway... So, I put a little bit of grime right there. It, you can see, it looks very good. It looks very nice on this locomotive. I've also did it to the numbers a little bit to make them less uh, white. Because here's this side. Here's the other side. You can tell they just pop. These are now more faded, so it looks better. I gotta do the same thing for this. For this. These. I also gotta get these vents a little grimy. Now, this one, it didn't turn out too well, but it turned out okay. Okay, this side looks like crap. But then if you come over here, it doesn't look too bad, actually. You get the grimy grills. Actually, it doesn't look too bad on this side. And then, you know, you get that little grime on the doors. This side turned out terrible. I was just dry brushing it on, dipping the paint in, drying off, getting most of the wet paint off, and you got the little film on there, and then that's what I used. The stat... Oh, I love the exhaust on this one, because it... This one look as shiny now, so it looks nice. But before I did it on these two things, I tested it on this engine, and yeah, it look, doesn't look too bad. I got in between the doors right there, so it doesn't look too bad. I like the fading on the logo I did today, though. I got them on the grills on the top. You can, okay, so this is this side of the grills. So I rotate it over. You can tell those are still... This side hasn't been weathered. You can see the top. It's been weathered a little bit. Got these top grills weathered. Uh, not weathered. Weathered, and I think the weather side looks amazing. So. 
I'm working on weathering. It's gonna be a slow process. Because right now I'm just weathering so where er, when I get up to my good models, they don't look like complete total junk. And I also gotta get my colors. I have to get a rustic brown brown. I need to get a rust color, a brown, a some other colors. So why don't we go somewhere else and we catch the train, shall we? There it is. How about we sit right here? Okay, let's do a slow, uh, that's it for now, uh, thank you for, uh, watching this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you, oh, that's a railroad, railroad adventure.